Hi, I'm Sasha Segan from PCMag.com. Summer travel season is here, so you are probably wondering about how to travel abroad with your cell phone, especially if you haven't done it before or you haven't done it in a while. Well, I've been traveling abroad with cell phones for decades now, and I can tell you that it is much, much easier than it used to be. When I first started flying abroad uh, using a phone, it was the early 2000s, and very often US phones would not work in Europe or Asia at all. In fact, you had to rent a different handset, and you would use that handset overseas and then use your phone at home. These things aren't true anymore. Almost all American mobile phones now work all around the world. One of the keys is to have the phone unlocked. I'll get to that, but first, there's something that's even more convenient. Your mobile phone plan has a really good chance of just including some international roaming for free. Now, that may include relatively low cost, but still by the minute calls or free calls and slow but free data. Call your carrier and find out before you invest in anything else. Now, your carrier may also have roaming day passes that it sells. In general, what this means is that for $10 a day, you will get unlimited calls, unlimited texts, and data just like you're at home. For a short trip with relatively few phones, that can be an affordable choice. If you're taking a longer trip or you have a whole bunch of lines that you need to transfer, those numbers can add up really quickly and it's much less affordable. Now, if your plan doesn't include free international roaming and the day passes don't work out for you, you have some other options. The key is to have an unlocked phone. That means your phone is not locked to only performing on your US carrier. Now, the good news is that by law, all the carriers now need to give you uh, unlock codes, automatically unlock their phones, or unlock their phones remotely by, re by request. What you need to do is call your carrier and ask them if your phone is unlocked for international travel. If not, have them unlock it. They're required to do so. Once you have an unlocked phone, there's a couple of low cost ways that you can make international calls. I mean, calls when you're overseas, not international calls outbound from the US. If you have a recent iPhone, you probably have the option for dual SIM with eSIM. This is a really convenient way to get yourself a foreign phone plan without having to fiddle with physical SIM cards. What you can do is you can go to a mobile phone store in your destination country. Generally, they'll have some sort of prepaid phone plan that is geared towards tourists. They will give you a piece of paper with a QR code on it. You will be able to go into your iPhone settings, scan the QR code, and then you'll have a local phone plan in the other country. Now that'll give you a local phone number. It'll also give you calls and data at much lower rates than uh, you would get by otherwise internationally roaming. The advantage of iPhone dual SIM with eSIM is that you have the foreign line, but you also have your existing US line active at the same time. That means you won't miss any texts from home and you won't miss any calls from home. Dual SIM with eSIM lets you have the best of both worlds. Now, if you don't have a dual SIM or dual SIM eSIM compatible phone, and you do want to use a lot of data or have really cheap local calls, you probably need to get a local SIM card. The good news is a lot of those nowadays are just sold in the airport at your destination. Look around for a vending machine, find something with a reasonable price, and the prices that you're going to pay on calls and data are much less than you would pay probably even for one of those uh, day passes that you would buy from your carrier. When you get that, you swap the SIM card out of your phone, you put the local SIM card in, and you're on the local network. Now, the downside on that, you're not gonna be getting any of the calls or texts on your home number that you would with your home SIM card in your phone. If this feels too inconvenient for you, just pay for your carrier's day pass. So, staying connected while you're traveling abroad is a lot easier than it used to be your phone probably works in your destination country. For a little bit of money, you can almost certainly get a day pass or a service plan that allows you to have service on your existing number. If you're a little more frugal and more adventurous, you can buy a local SIM card, which will give you lower data rates 
and will work in your phone. So you don't need to worry about staying connected. Have a great trip.